guys, Alita here. I'm super excited about this week's IPA. It's all about the follow-up. You've been working on your list of 200, you've been reaching out to some folks, and now we're gonna talk about follow-up. The fortune is in the follow-up. So I just wanted to talk today specifically about fear of the follow-up. Why are we afraid? Do we only reach out one time? Are we not following up? Does it take everything in us to reach out the first time and then we're just not gonna do it again? I wanna to talk to you guys about that today. So when I first joined, I remember being scared. I remember having a lot of objections. I remember being nervous. I remember feeling um, all different types of emotions. I'm excited about the product, but I'm nervous. I'm scared to post. Um, I'm nervous of what people are gonna think about me. So many emotions were running through my mind at the time. And I remember Jennifer, you know, she called me. We talked on the phone a lot that first week. Uh, she invited me over to her house. We went over the compensation plan. She broke it down into really simple things and explained silver to me face to face and in person. That helped me so, so, so much. Um, and we did a lot of talking before I signed up on the phone. So what I want to talk to you guys today is don't be afraid to pick up the phone. Don't be afraid of the face-to-face -face conversation. So many people need it. I love it, I crave it. I want someone to call me and explain to me what something is. So if someone reaches back out to you and says, I'd love more information, you can always send a video that is a great tool, especially when you're really busy. But something even better is to reach back out and say, do you have time this weekend? Can I give you a call? Is there a time that works? and get on the phone with them and talk to them. Let them hear the passion in your voice of why you're doing this and why you're excited about this. So often we just text a message or send a, a message on Facebook or Instagram direct message and we're not really giving people the opportunity to hear the excitement in our voice. And I'm guilty of that too. So lately I've just been picking up the phone. I've been calling some people, I've been talking to people and I'm seeing great fruit from that. Picking up the phone, counts and it matters. Do not be afraid of the follow-up. Do not be afraid to tell people about this business opportunity. And I want to talk about that for a little minute. Or the products. So often we care more about what we think people will think. So that means we care more about our self-image more than we care about our fellow friends and our fellow humans walking this earth with us. We have an opportunity that can help and we have a product that can really help. So meanwhile, we're worried about us. We're worried about, well, what will they think? Or I'm worried about, um, you know, my reputation. More than we're concerned with someone's health or financial situation, I don't think so. It's time to let go of that excuse. It's time to overcome that and say to yourself, no, this person matters more to me than what people might think about me. I am so thankful that Jennifer stopped worrying about what she thought I might think about her and messaged me. I'm so glad Jennifer did that again and again and again. And she was nervous. I mean, I love when she tells that story. She's like, I'd be sweating, I'd be so nervous messaging her and I was so nervous calling, but she did it anyway. And now look, I'm a widowed mom with five kids, single mom, making a life-changing income because she got over herself and sent me a message, because she got over herself and phoned me, because she got over herself and followed up. It's so important that we take ourselves out of the equation, so important that we lay that fear down and we get on the phone and we talk to people and we say, this opportunity is for you. It's just as much as it is for me. So I really wanna encourage you guys to step out of your comfort zones and be calling people. Be calling those dream teamers. Give them the honor and respect of calling them and saying, you could do this. You would be amazing at this. Let me tell you just a little bit about it. They wanna hear what's going on in your life. They wanna know what opportunities are out there for them. They just might not know it yet. So I wanna just encourage you today that if you're afraid to follow up, or you're afraid to reach out that one more time, you're on your list and you're like, I've already reached out once. Let me encourage you to pick up the phone. Let me encourage you to get over yourself and to remember that this could be life changing for people. So follow up you guys, 
Today's challenge is to reach out to three people on the phone, to call those three people and let your excitement burst through your voice and let them know what's going on in your life, to catch up with them, to build on that relationship. This isn't an overnight lottery ticket. This takes simple, consistent work. So I hope today goes well. I'd love for you guys to screenshot um, some messages where you're setting up phone conversations. I would love to hear about your phone conversations. So you guys have an amazing day. Let's rock it.